Small racers needed some beer money. <laughs> yeah, they started doing the Olympic Fairgrounds just to, just a race. There were nine riders the first year, nine racers, and I think I've heard Mission was ten cents ahead. City Park is where it all started. They can't even camp there anymore. But yeah, that's that was the big party area. It got to be the fashion of the city park that if somebody came through there in a Honda, you took the bike away from it and strung it up in a tree and burned it. I never criticize anybody for what they ride. They ride Honda, Suzuki, Kawasaki, don't matter. Everybody's doing the same thing you want to do, get a little wind in the face, you know? I love riding the Harleys. I ride my own Harley, but it's broken right now, so I have to ride on his. <laughs> I'm used to riding on my own, so I don't really like riding on his. One fellow's had his going 188 miles an hour, but just because it's all the fast, we can hold on to the motorcycle. You got any cool scars you can show us? Oh, I got gold in my teeth. Like I, go, I had a cast on for a year and a half. I'm deaf in the left ear, you know? From a uh, motorcycle accident. Yes, yes. You keep on riding. Just like a horse or a gun, a motorcycle's not dangerous. It's the one under control of it, you know? 1983, I had a deer at 65 miles an hour. A big one. It didn't hurt the deer, but I got hurt. Shattered my kneecap. I was in a cast for 13 weeks. Two weeks after I got the cast off, I was back on my bike again. It's kind of like getting laid. You enjoy it, you gotta do it. As long as they get in the wind and they're enjoying and having fun, I say go for it, you know. But uh, just try to be true to our image and not not wreck us, you know. Uh, and these guys are coming out here, man. They pay our bills, man. They don't look like us, man. It's hard riding this lifestyle. I think it signifies freedom. You, know, you do your own thing. You look your own way. Uh, you're your your own person. Maybe that's being about what I was talking about, the element life and drag race and all that stuff. Maybe that's what it is to them. I was born into it, basically. I'm a third generation hill climber. And uh, so, yeah, I, I was born into it. And wow, so I was riding at the age of two and a half years old. I don't do that much besides ride my bike. I just sleep would probably be the next best thing. <laughs> that way I can get rested up before riding my bike. King of the Hill for people that have raced during the week. So anybody that stayed here all week and wants to run, they qualify for a King of the Hill trophy and a hundred dollars. I don't know, you gotta come off the line and uh, keep it straight. Well, it feels pretty good as long as you can get stopped before you end up in the mortuary lawn. People tell me they've never seen a uh, Motorcycle straight through a bar before. That's a pretty sharp corner. Uh, you gotta lay it down pretty flat. Uh, you hit as hard as you can without getting fucking all in. That's what happens. People come from all over the country. They come here once and tell everybody else they know. Everybody comes back. You know what happened was, man, was I started coming home and realizing. I don't fucking want to be home. When I was home, I just wanted to be gone. So one year I rode off and I just didn't go back. You know, things don't always go right. But that's life. If I got my motorcycles, they go. That's all they gotta do. down to it we're all here for the same thing we all love to ride regardless if we're doctors or lawyers or nurses you know we put all that aside and we come out here and we're all equal you know no one's better than one another it's all about the spirit of riding being free 